2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Downtown Memphis, looking quite lovely tonight. We're coming to you from Grind City. Welcome, folks, and what better way to celebrate the end of the week, Friday night basketball on 2K Sports. Alongside Chris Weber, Grant Hill, and our reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us tonight, the incomparable Candace Parker. Oh, incomparable. I got a lot to live up to. It's great to catch up with you in the 2K crew, Brian. Let's see some of the numbers here for Dylan Brooks. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. So here's Dallas's starting group. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Hardaway in at the small forward position. And for the Grizzlies... Jaron Jackson out there with Clint Capella. Then there's Tyus Jones. Then it's Desmond Bain. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. And it's gotten to the point now where Memphis can beat any team on any given night, Candace. Yes, that's the culture. They play a certain way. Um, they always continue to next guy up is their mentality and you know I think that that sets them up for great success one of the most exciting teams to watch in the NBA now here's Brunson in the game against New York very impressive from deep here's Doncic and that's good his first bucket of the game yeah, just pure shooting talent really sets Doncic apart he's got touch accuracy and supreme confidence Bain, no good Outside Brunson, pass to Doncic. Outside Hardaway for three. They get it again. Porzingis, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. At the line for the Mavericks, Kristaps Porzingis, shooting one. Standing at 7-3, we have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis, a fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Now here's Brooks, coming off a terrific game against Minnesota. Here's Bain, Brunson defending. Down to five on the shot clock. And the basket by Bain. Hey, that right there was a lot of confidence given the size of the disadvantage there. Yeah, no question. It takes skill and a certain level of fearlessness. Here's Doncic. Impressive scoring stats with around 27 points a game. Hardaway on the wing. From downtown, the shot is good. Doncic making the play. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Jones. Pass to Jackson. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my household. Um, it was a unique experience, one that I am very happy to have been a part of. Um, just in terms of what that season meant to the WNBA and just the sports and social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, BA, not again. Well, the WNBA crowned a champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social justice movement. Porzingis misses. The Grizzlies have gone three of four to get things going. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Now here's Jackson. 
He picked up 10 in his last game. They've hit four of their first five shots. Great execution and attention to detail. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. He shoots it. Here's Porzingis. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. An authoritative play by Porzingis. Dominating the glass and getting the second chance look. Outside for Brooks. Right side Jones. And he lobs it up top. And it's Capella with the jam. And sometimes all you got to do is lob it Capella's way. Often he takes care of the rest. Pass to Kleba. Now here's Doncic. From 11 feet away. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. away on the wing he has a clear impact on this offense putting up over 19 a game his field goal percentage has dipped this quarter I mean his movement has to be better he has to find the open spot for the floor. and it goes as the official calls the foul count it and he'll shoot one more at the line so it'll be Jaron Jackson shooting it'll go on Maxi Kleba all right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Grizzlies? Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. Another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the ball and piling up the assist. Well, Candace, one area where the WNBA has dominated the NBA, free throw percentage. Yes, um, you know, I think that it definitely comes down to our bigs being able to stretch the floor. I don't know whether that has anything to do with playing overseas, but we practiced a lot of free throws during our career. Fearless play by Doncic in the paint, ready to do whatever it takes to find his shot. Jackson outside. Pass to Brooks. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Jones. Shot clock at five. And there's the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. The Mavericks have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Outside Brunson. Pass to Hardaway. Porzingis with it. Doncic outside. Knocks it down from distance. Doncic has got 8. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. And they'll hang that foul on Maxi Kleba. That's foul number two for him. You know, the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul this early could spell trouble. Finney Smith checked in for Kleba. Hardaway against Brooks. Pass to Capella. Now Jones. Jackson down low. Chalk up two there. Nine points in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get into paint and get wet. Inside. Hardaway finds Doncic. Pass to Porzingis. No good with the triple. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Well, with players just getting bigger and faster, 
When do you think we'll see our first WNBA dunk contest? And is that important to you, Kim? I think it's just around the corner. I think it's going to be in the next couple years that we're going to see a number of ladies go out there and show them how it's done. Brunson passes to Doncic. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Adams is checked in. Bullock, he's checked in for the Mavericks. On defense, the Grizzlies. Shot clock at six. Pass to Doncic. Takes the three. Not going to go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. The last time these two teams came together was also in this building, and they were able to win it for the home fans. Well, in this last matchup, they captured the win in large part because their backups provided a lot of the scoring punch. Well, well it's such a boost. I mean, not something you want to have to count on every night, but you can tell how much they trust their reserves. Here's Brunson following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Pass to Finney Smith from deep. The Grizzlies pull it in. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. <laughs> and in that game, they own the glass. Most of the second chance opportunities went to them. Yeah, if, if you can be that much better on the glass, you're going to win the game. Here's Jackson. Back to Bain. All alone. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Bain's got six. The Mavericks trailing. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Doncic with it. Jackson in his pocket. Oh, they need this. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Ten points for him. And just such an accurate shooter. I mean, give Luka any room to get his shot off, and he'll take it. Pass to Bain. Well, Candace, as you look around the NBA, the art of the flop has uh, crescendoed, let's just say. And the NBA wants to address this. How do you think they'll take these steps to try to eliminate at least part of that part of the game? I think it's just about, you know, regular movement, basketball plays. As a defender, it's hard enough to guard guys like Trey Young and guys like James Harden and Kevin Durant. But then when you add into the extra things that they're able to do to make the defender wrong. So I think as long as it's a basketball play, um, but just like we've seen the kick, how that has changed the way that we protect shooters and how many offensive fouls are called. So I think at some point, the players are going to adjust to the new rules. Good points. Now here's Brunson. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Fires from deep, and the three-pointer goes. With elite passing skills and core vision, Doncic is an advanced distributor for his age. Here's Adams. He had nine points in his last time out. They get it back. Pass to Bain. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Bain's got ten points in the game. Facilitating from the inside, I and mean, that can be a valuable asset for any offense. Doncic outside, takes it inside, and he lays it up and in. We've seen why Doncic is a perennial MVP candidate. He's taken over completely at the offensive end. Pass to Jackson. Back to Jones. Adams with the ball. Defended by Porzingis. And the foul called on Christoph Porzingis. That's his first foul. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Anderson's checked in for Memphis. Clark comes in for Bain. Cauley Stein, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Iguodala comes in for Doncic. Outside Jones. Over Iguodala. He got a piece of it. And the ability to go vertical. I mean, Iguodala's sneaky shot block. Anderson against Brunson. Two minutes remaining in the first. And it's all tied up. 
He's got five. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Had a lot of great basketball talent in the pipeline, both for the NBA and the WNBA. So, Candace, what players in the women's game do you see coming in and having a huge impact? Well, you got to start first with the impact that Brianna Stewart has had in the WBA. You're going to see more of those forward, um, versatile players that are coming in. You're going to see more of the big guards, those guards that have the skills. And you're seeing that in the NBA. It's becoming positionless. And when everybody's able to do everything, it makes for an exciting game for the fans. Yeah, no doubt. Blocked! 114 left in the first quarter here. Here's Bullock. Oh, Adams with the block. And he gets it back. Basket's good. And 101 left in the first quarter of the game. Clark outside. Pass to Adams. And here's Anderson. Going inside. Holly Stein with the rebound. Adam, shots good. No basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Outside Brunson to the middle. Here's Cauley Stein. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Shooting for Dallas, Willie Collinsman at the line for one. Mind the lanes, mind the lanes. One shot. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. A quality role player. Kali Stein offers energy, length, and a team-first attitude his squad appreciates. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Jones. The shot no good. Good D by Finney Smith. Now here's Brunson. Guarded closely. Jones with the block. And they're able to recover. Goes back up. And it's good for two. Now it's a three-point Dallas lead. You see the length helping Kali Stein right there? I mean, that's what allows him to be a factor on the board. Here's Clark. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. We're just wearing them out. I mean, when you space the floor like this, the defense has to run and expend energy. We've got Steven Adams. Kyle Anderson is out there with Brandon Clark. Then there's Tyus Jones, and it's Brooks in at the two-guard spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Well, Candace, you've won WNBA titles, college titles, gold medals. I could go on and on. Is there a championship that you cherish the most? The WNBA championship for me um, is the best of the best. I think that was the championship that took the longest to get. And that was the hardest. And, you know, I think because of that, I appreciate it that much more. Now here's Brunson. Takes a three. Hits a three-pointer. Brunson's got eight points. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Clark. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. 
Anderson with space. Collie Stein with the rebound. Collie Stein's got four rebounds now. Closed the net on two minutes played here in the second. Pass to Brunson. There's the triple. Clark grabs the board. Oh, it's stolen by Coley Stein. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And now a three-point Maverick lead. Stay locked in. That's what helps Coley Stein finish off these challenging buckets over the defense. Here's Jones. Count it. Two for four from the field now. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Now here's Brunson. Tight defense on him. Iguodala outside. That three's off the mark. Well, if you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Adams finds Brooks. Counted. His third and five attempts. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Bullock. Anderson covers. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Adams. And it's Culver in for Clark. And Dallas with a change here, too. Hardaway's checked in for Bullock. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Iguodala outside. His first shot coming late. Here's Cauley Stein. Hey, rejected by Capella. He seems to improve his shot blocking every year. I mean, Capella is outstanding at using his lip to swat away shots. Candace, this is now the second consecutive season that has not been a traditional offseason. Not quite as short of a recovery time as from the bubble, but still three months from the end to the beginning of the next season. That's not a lot of time to get it going again. It's not a lot of time, but you have guys that will learn from past years. Um, you know, basketball now is a year-round sport. You're going to have to continue to take care of your body. That's your investment. That's the way that you get out there and play. So I think you're going to see more guys not necessarily taking complete time off, but still getting in the weight room and working on their bodies. And so it's Dallas with it. The Grizzlies making their last shot. Culver outside. Pass to Brooks. Back to Culver. To the paint. And out of bounds. Oh, Dallas will have it. A flat out loss of concentration. Yeah, that kind of turnover will drive a coach crazy. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Williams comes in for Anderson. And it's Bain in for Brooks. Luka Doncic is checked in for the Mavericks. Pass to Kleba. For three, Hardaway. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Here's Bain. 4-3. It's rebounded by Dallas. Cauley Stein's got his fifth rebound in this one. Down low. Here's Kleba. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Kleba's got his first points of the night. Memphis leading. Now here's Jones. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Now here's Culver. Defended by Hardaway. And that one good. Terrific design and execution. Leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. A nice shot by Doncic. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. Now here's Jones. Oh, Cauley Stein with the block. Pass to Doncic. This one for three. 
No good there. Six for 11 now from the floor. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. To the inside. Jones' his shot is good. Jones has got his third bucket of the night. Oh, you have to appreciate the ball moving and the commitment to getting a high percentage look. Now here's Doncic. Defense right on him. Pass to Hardaway. From outside the arc. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got his third assist of the night. Few guys distribute better than Doncic. He's got good instincts for when and where to send the ball. Here's Bain. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. Here's Culver. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Hardaway. Doncic, right side. It's Iguodala on the wing. And they'll get another chance. Goes up again. And there's a nice layup by Kleba. Kleba's got four points in the quarter. Give him the chance to pull off something special. He'll take it. Pass to Williams. Here's Culver. Sweet little floater. Boy, that's just great touch. The teardrop. Well, that's all about feel. And Dallas calls time here. Porzingis has checked in for the Mavericks. Finney Smith comes in for Kleba. Now here's Iguodala. Williams defending. Back to Finney Smith. Pass to Doncic. Five on the clock. The ball's knocked loose. Now here's Jones. He's closely guarded. Let's go with a three. And it's Bain with the rebound. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Jones drives in. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. Uh, with the run he's on in the second quarter, I mean, this field goal percentage is tremendous right now. Outside Hardaway. Doncic with it. 14 points for him. Outside Porzingis. No good on the three. Memphis has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Bain. Over Finney Smith. Again, the Grizzlies. Good for two more. And they're winning and playing with great confidence, but they need to be more efficient with those three-pointers. Doncic outside. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Pretty even game going here in Memphis. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. And that game will conclude a four-game homestand for them. Here's Jones. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. It's Doncic with a drive. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. This is Doncic's pure shooting ability in action. Making it look easy with that nice floater. 
Outside Jones. Up and over Hardaway. And the Grizzlies get another bucket right there. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Right side, Finney Smith. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got four assists now tonight. But he's not going to back off when he's down. I mean, he's got a chance to attack the best. Now here's Jones. He's got 12. Here's Capella. Porzingis grabs the board. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion and protect the rim right there. Now Doncic coming off a 34-point game against New York. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. Jackson, he's checked in for Williams. And Dallas also making a switch. Bullock's checked in. Now here's Doncic. He's guarded closely. No coverage that time. Hardaway's got nine. His three-point game is heating up. That's his second three of the quarter. Third overall. Pass to Capella. From deep vein. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds in the game. Three-pointer. Grizzlies with the rebound. Jackson's got four rebounds now. Here's Bain, defended by Porzingis, and Capella gets it to go. Got to be more forceful than that one, guarding Capella. I mean, he fins off defenders with such ease. And I want to thank our special guest. Candace, your insights are always illuminating. Great to have you on the program. Illuminating. It's, it's great to be here. Thanks, B.A. Now here's Doncic. 16 points for him. Just five to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Bullock. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Anderson's checked in for Capella. Clark comes in for Culver. And it's Brooks in for Jones. And Dallas with a change here, too. Brunson is checked in for Hardaway. What's up? And it's tied up with that one. Memphis has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. To the paint. Kicks it out to Jackson. Clark outside. Brooks outside. Pass to Bain. Beyond the arc. Mavericks with a rebound. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Here's Doncic. Got it again. That makes him 8 for 15 for the night. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Pass to Bain. Over Brunson. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into the half. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. 
On the court right now for the Mavericks. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Luka Doncic is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hardaway in at the three spot. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Oh, nice. He keeps the ball high after rebounds. Jackson's effort level on the glass is unreal. Doncic against Capella. Now here's Doncic. Tightly guarded. No good. Memphis leading. A popular phrase in the NBA circles has become rim runner. Basically, centers that live in the paint on both ends of the floor guys rack up rebounds and easy buckets. Clint Capella might be the best in the league at rim running. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Brunson. Inside. Shoots from the right block. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Oh, strong defensive instincts. Jackson excels at recognizing when to use his lift and go for the blocks. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. The Mavericks shooting about 47%. A nice number. Well, when you look at the numbers of Capella, Grant, you see a guy who knows his role. I love it. I mean, Clint never attempts threes. He's not looking to stretch the floor. A career 60-plus percentage shooter, Clint lives on dunks and putbacks, and he's always among the league leaders in rebounding. He's just a force down low. Now here's Jones. 12 points for him. Back to Bain. Six on the shot clock. Lots of room. And another basket for Memphis. It's big for Brooks's confidence. I mean, when he makes this shot, it, it helps him get going out there. Brunson passes to Doncic. Hardaway on the wing. Puts up a three. That shot missing. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And that one's good for Brooks. They made the most of their halftime adjustments. They're shooting 80% so far in the second half. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kleba. Not a great play on either end. Bad delivery and way too late to react on the catch. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Outside Jones. Good! Now seven for 11 on the night. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Now a timeout called by Dallas. Well, it seems like now every player is expected to be able to do it all, Chris. Are the days of the specialist player behind us? I hope so, because I tell you what, you get shortchanged with the specialists. You can only put specialists in at certain times. The specialists can't guard. The specialists can't shoot three. The specialists, whatever happened to just having games? And that's what we're going to get back to. Okay. What can you do? How can you help the team? Let's go. Checked in for Memphis. And Dallas also making a switch. Cauley Steins checked in. Doncic right side. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. 
Memphis with the ball. They've got a 10-0 run going. Here's Bain. The shot from the low post is good. And now it's a 12-point Grizzly lead. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Well, they're playing well as a unit, taking shots they know they can make and building this lead. Back to Doncic. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. And that's two awful trips in a row resulting in turnovers. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. On the wing, Bain lets it fly. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on Doncic. And see, Webb, you look at Desmond Bain out of college. An NBA-ready physique right out of the gate. And his game is NBA-ready as well. I mean, he's played significant minutes already. He's a reliable perimeter threat. Shooting two. First one falls. And so he makes both from the line. The Mavericks have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Brunson finds Doncic. And here's Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Five to shoot. To end the run. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Counted. Hardaway's got 11. So it's the Grizzlies now. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Brunson against Adams. Brooks the pass to Adams. Hits it just before the shot clock expires. Adams has got his third basket on the night right there. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And here's Doncic. He's got 18. The floater. And it's in there. Doncic has got 20 points. Defense was all over Doncic, so he smartly uses a pick to get free to shoot. Here's Jones. It's rebounded by Dallas. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. Jackson against Brunson. Here's Doncic. Again, Doncic missing. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. On the wing, Bain, guarded by Doncic. The baseline, Jay. And down it goes. Two points. He's got 13. But with the versatile offensive skill set, Jackson has shown the ability to do damage from mid range. Pass to Doncic. Step back shot, and he hits the jumper. He's got 22. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Ali. Thanks for that. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Jackson. Back to Jones. Count. 
thrown it. Now eight for 13 with that basket. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Now here's Iguodala looking for his first basket still in this one. Right side, Brunson. Outside, Hardaway. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Outside, Williams. Pass to Brooks. Pulls it from the top of the key. Hardaway grabs the board. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Iguodala up top. Brooks defending. Iguodala shot is good. And getting a quick head of steam. Iguodala beats the defense to the punch. Now here's Jones. Brunson defending. Here's Jackson. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. That works just like they drew it up. Until the part where he short arms to play. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Well, the Grizzlies shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Williams in the post. Molly Stein defending. And there's a three-second violation. A three -second violation. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Anderson's checked in for Jackson. Culver comes in for Williams. And Clark has subbed in for Jones. Finney Smith's checked in for the Mavericks. Bullock comes in for Hardaway. Here's Bullock. Five points in the game. Now here's Brunson. And stolen by Clark. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Taking it right at the rack. I mean, that defense is looking real frustrated. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's getting to them. The lack of communication, the lack of trust. Now here's Brunson. Give him eight points now. Back to Iguodala. Pass to Finney Smith with the 10-footer. Got a hand on it. And, and blocks like this fire Anderson up. Which you turn get his teammates going as well. Tries yet again. It's rebounded by Dallas. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. Here's Bullock. The three sinks the tray. Bullock's got eight points. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Left side, Anderson. Pass to Clark. Six to shoot. To the middle. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Clark. And that's a gift that I've never seen. They've got to communicate much better out there. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Capella's checked in. And Dallas with a change here, too. Porzingis has checked in for Cauley Stein. Pass to Bullock. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left in the third. Porzingis with it. Deflects the pass. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And this is what they want to see from Porzingis. Taking contact and completing the play. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. Don't forget about their points in the paint either. Those have been huge. A minute 50 left in the third. Brooks with it. 11 points in the game. A good looking shot from the wing. Brooks has got six points in the quarter. Good at taking what he sees. Give Brooks this in between shot. Man, he's gonna knock it down. 
Brooks against Brunson. 121 left to play in the third quarter here. Just five on the clock. With the floater. And he gets the bucket. Brunson's got 10 points in the game. Memphis leading. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Brooks. And here's Capella, defended by Porzingis. Soft touch off the glass. Give him eight. An improved playmaker who does a solid job distributing the rock. Don't sleep on Brooks' vision. Brunson against Clark. And that one's good for Brunson. Even if they saw the step back coming, the defense didn't offer much resistance. Dallas foul. Reggie Bullock. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Pass to Culver. No good off the front rim. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, yeah. It's taking on a different feel since the break. You can see how many more hustle plays are being made. Brunson against Brooks. Shot from the top of the key. That shot off the mark. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's the Grizzlies leading by four. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great vision. He's a gifted passer. Has his finger on the pulse of this offense. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. We've got Brandon Clark, Clint Capella out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's Desmond Bain, and it's Culver in at the three slot. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. And taking huge strides, Porzingis really gets it going on the drive. Here's Bain. Pass to Anderson. Clock at six. Clark up top. Culver outside. From outside, off the mark. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Here's Bullock, guarded by Capella. Pass to Iguodala. good. This game is all even. Oh, the rugged physicality Iguodala brings to the game is special. What a performer this guy is. Outside, Anderson. Clark outside. Who poked away. Here's Capella. And count it. Now five for seven. Uh, it comes as no surprise that Capella makes that kind of tough finish. He's got a lot of strength and a lot of determination. Doncic outside. Over Capella. Capella with a block. Outside, Anderson. Down low. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, Jared Culver, taking two shots. 
Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Jones, he's checked in for Clark. Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Iguodala. And he sinks the second. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Outside Hardaway. Poke loose. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. Williams is checked in for Memphis. Well, Memphis shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Here's Jones. And Porzingis with the block. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Oh, yeah, difficult finish, but if you expected him to back down, you better think again. And it's Doncic missing. Kleba with a steal. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Capella. First team foul. Shooting for Dallas. Maxi Kleba at the line for two. one falls for him. So he gets them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Outside Jones. Pass to Anderson. Now here's Jones. Defended by Hardaway. Kleba with a steal. Here's Bullock. Doesn't go that time. Some solid defense from Williams. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. And Porzingis with the block. Capella finds Anderson. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Grizzlies lead by five. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Pass to Porzingis. And the layup falls. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. It's 7-3. Tough to challenge Porzingis' shot without making contact. That could have drawn a whistle. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6-9 gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. Free throw drops for Anderson. I mean, I, I think he's kind of a throwback kind of player, if you ask me. I mean, Anderson's nickname is Slow Mo because of his ability to slow the game down and pick the opponent apart. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. And Anderson drops them both. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Outside Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Here's the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Anderson's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. Here's Jackson. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the layup. Part of why they have this lead 
They're doing the little things out there. Pass to Bullock. Back to Doncic. Now Hardaway. Six to shoot. From behind the arc. And it's Bain with the rebound. And a lot of damage from three-point range in the first half. But so far in the second, he hasn't done a thing. Pass to Anderson. Now here's Jones. Defended by Hardaway. Williams from long range. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Following this game, they host the Magic. That game starts a nice five-game homestand for them. Hardaway finds Kleba. To the middle. Here's Doncic. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Doncic has got 24. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. That one on Doncic. Adams checked in for Memphis. Brooks comes in for Williams. At the line for the Grizzlies, Desmond Bain. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Bullock. Outside Hardaway to the paint. Porzingis in the post. And it's going to be a three second call. Brunson has checked in for the Mavericks. Checking in for the Mavericks. Jalen Brunson. Here's Jones. Pass to Jackson. Brooks outside. Knocks it loose. Inside. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. What a game from Jackson so far. He's going to win and showing no signs of the field. Now here's Brunson. Defense is right there. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Now Doncic. Launches a three. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Adam, shots good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. Well, he needs to take a deep breath and start playing with more control. Those five turnovers aren't helping them stay in this fight. Pass to Bain. Here's Brooks, defended by Hardaway. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. The Mavericks have gone four for 10 in the fourth. Now here's Doncic. The D's right on him. He takes it in. Count it. Doncic has got 26 points. The strength and power of Doncic shows up every game. Very physical for his position. Pass to Adams. Here's Bain. Guarded by Doncic. Shot clock at six. 
Outside for Brooks. Up and over Hardaway. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Brooks has got 10 points in just the second half. Outside Brunson. Back to Doncic. Pass to Porzingis. Doncic outside. Here's Brunson. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Yeah, and he's gotten to his spots and capitalized. He just needs a little more help from his teammates. Offensive rebound. Here's Adams. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Coming out of the half, making a commitment to the offensive boards has proven successful. Now here's Brunson. He's covered closely. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's Bain. Shoots over Kleba. It's tipped. Now here's Brunson. Not a lot of room. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And he's able to get it back. Pass to Jones. Into the lane. It's deflected. They retain possession. Second shot opportunity. Outside for Brooks. Back to Adams. They shoot again, and he sinks the layup. Adams has got six in the quarter. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Porzingis passes to Doncic. Fires in the triple. Doncic has got 29 points. Because opponents have to respect his passing so much, a lot of times the three-pointer is there for Doncic if he wants it. Brooks against Hardaway. Brooks, the pass to Adams. Back to Brooks. The three is up. It's rebounded by Kleba. Kleba's got six rebounds here tonight. Dallas now, time running out to the middle. Here's Porzingis. It's really good to see Kristaps inside forcing the issue. We know his outside abilities, but he can also bang down low. Shooting for Dallas. Kristaps Porzingis. Two shots. Free throw good from Porzingis. And the Mavericks making a change here. Bullock's checked in. Both free throws good from Porzingis. And the Grizzlies shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Pass to Bain. Kleba against Jackson. Here's Jones. Here's Bain. Here he goes. And the lamp is good off the glass. Bain's got five points in the quarter. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Grizzlies. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. And when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And that'll put a little extra meaning on their next game. No team wants to go 0 for 4 against an opponent, no matter who it is.
And no question this was a team effort. But you have to love how big a night this was for Jaron Jackson. I think his biggest contribution may have been on the boards. He kept plays alive and denied second chances. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Doncic. Adams grabs the miss. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. But you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. That's the dagger. You could tell they wanted that one. I know that seals the deal. Bullock's shot is off. Memphis takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor, but is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep me engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Darren. Congrats on your success. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. So long and good night, everyone.